What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Section 2.1, Exercise 2 in the Calculus Single Variable 6th Edition Textbook by Hughes Hallett, Gleason McCallum et al. Chapter 2 is all about the derivative. Section 2.1 is about how we measure speed. And in Exercise 2, we are asked to find the average velocity of a particle given data for position and time. And so we know that average velocity is equal to the change in position over the change in time. So this is going to be equal to the position at time 2 minus the position at time 1 divided by time 2 minus time 1. Now in the problem we are asked to find the average velocity from t equals 0 to t equals 4. So we're given two of these values already. t2 is equal to 4 seconds and t1 is equal to 0 seconds. And the other two we can find by looking at the chart. So the position at time two is equal to negative six meters. And the way that I found that is by looking at the chart that we're given in the problem. If we look at the top row where your time is equal to four seconds and you go down one cell, that is the position at time equals four seconds. And that corresponds to a position of negative six meters. And if we do the same thing, we can find the position at time one and that'll be the first column of numbers. You see that t is equal to zero seconds, and if you move down one cell, you'll see that the position that corresponds to time equals zero seconds is equal to negative two meters. And so that's the four variables that we need to plug into here, and so I'm gonna do that. The average is equal to x of t2, which is negative six meters, minus x of t1, which is negative two meters, divided by time two, which is four seconds, minus time one, which is zero seconds. So up top in the numerator, we have negative six minus negative two, which a double negative is a plus, so negative six plus two is equal to negative four meters, divided by four seconds minus zero seconds, which is four seconds, and that'll be equal to negative one meters per second. And that is the final answer for the average velocity of our particle from time t equals zero to t equals four seconds. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.